What's up guys, Anthony here, uh, the sous chef over at Vernon Speakeasy. Welcome back to another video. We're gonna be making a mushroom risotto and let's get straight into it. So here I have uh, chicken stock, which is the bread and butter for a risotto, mushrooms, arborio rice, confit duck, lemon, and salt and pepper. And I also have Parmesan cheese that's gonna be part of the garnish. So as always, hot pan, add oil. First, mushrooms. Beautiful sound, duck. Whereas Devin says, duck. Salt, pepper. A little bit more salt, pepper. Just let it do its thing. And it's okay if it sticks a little bit, because we're gonna add the chicken stock. Chicken stock will deglaze the pan and create more goodness. And I also don't want to break apart that duck too much. I like the chunky pieces of duck. And I want you to look at that chicken stock. The chicken stock has fat in there. I like to keep all of that. I don't like removing that or making it look like a prettier stock. No, we don't do that here. I want that fat, maybe not all of it, but I want that fat inside of that risotto. Now that there's moisture, I'm gonna add the risotto or the arborio rice. It's about five ounces. A little bit more salt, pepper because we're creating layers, layers of flavor. Kind of flatten that out. Now I'm gonna add, add more chicken stock. And of course, taste everything, right? So I want to know where that rice is at. Almost there. We'll let that reduce. Once it starts coming closer to the product that I want, then I'm going to add the lemon zest. Then I'm going to add the Parmesan. But right now, again, it could use a little bit more salt. This is why we taste everything. So from here, I'm gonna go with the cheese. Nice big block of parmesan. Good stuff. The best parmesan cheese you can buy is what you, you wanna use. I want a good amount. Cheese is also a good binder. Now, lemon zest. You don't want any of the white stuff in there, just, just the full zest, that skin right there. Now let's check on it. Oh yeah. Once it can stand on its own, that's how you know it's ready. That noise too, you can hear it. It's telling you it's there. And it looks pancake-like. We didn't kill it from the heat. See what I mean by stand on its own? 
It's not collapsing. It's not turning into a pancake. It's just beautiful. Let's garnish this bad boy. Now I'm going to hit it with a little bit more cheese. So that'd be a pretty cool shot. Microgreens. Oh yeah. So go a little purple. All right, so that's how you make a mushroom and duck risotto. Uh, go ahead and tune in later on this week when we do have a more informative video on how to make a risotto and confit duck. Go ahead and leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Thanks.